Well, hello everybody. It's me. Um, I'm back with another quick little crafty gift. I know I find myself not knowing what to get somebody when an event comes up. And these are just ideas taken, taken from other people who I've worked on and then, you know what I mean? It's like you get an idea and then you work on it yourself. But these I got from the Dollar Tree. They're, sorry, that one's kind of shady. They're the 2019 calendar books. And you can use this with anything, you know, not just calendar books. You can find little, you know, Dollar Tree books that'll, that'll work. But as little gifts to give, you know, on New Year's or even for Christmas or, you know, whatever. And just spruce them up and decorate them yourself. That's my idea. Now, I started with this one right here. And what I did was I added a pocket on the inside cover. I put some paper here and then some tissue paper on this side. And that's as far as I've gotten so far. Well, I did put um, some paper on the back. Okay. Well, in this one, which I thought was really neat, they also give you a section for notes in the back, as well as um, contact information, you know, an address book on top of the calendar. And this calendar has got the big squares in it, which I like because I like writing what happened on certain days. So this is just to spruce it up. Now you can use... Um, you know, letter stickers or stamp, letter stamps or whatever to put, personalize it, names, however you want to do it. I grabbed a couple of different things out. This one is some stickers, but it's got different little sayings on it. This one's some gems. An idea for this is if, you know, you want to put down, use like all one color for birthdays, all one color for anniversaries or whatever, and you can put it on certain days next to the name. It's an idea. Um, you know, and then I've got other little stickers. Just, and you can use graphics if you want. You know, I've got little pieces right here. You can make more pockets for receipts or, you know, little appointment cards, anything like that. So let's see what we can do. I also pulled out some stamps. Um, I think I'm going to use those and maybe... Maybe that one. I don't know. Just something to think about. Maybe that one. Okay, so we'll just kind of set that aside for a minute. And we'll go through... What we can do. Okay, so here's January. Um, let me see. I thought I saw a sticker in here about, you know, it's a new year or something, a time to celebrate. Here, I found one that says, to another fabulous year. And I think I will put that right there just something small you know kind of personalize it let's see what do we want to do for February um, got a little ticket here February is Valentine's Day so let's go with there's a heart one here the heart tag So we'll put a sticker right there. 
And if you want to go directly to Valentine's Day, which is in two days from today. Um, let me see. I don't have any heart stickers. I ran out. Uh, let's see. Well, this one says, to my heart. Oh, I see. These are fabric tickets. Didn't realize what they were. No, that's a little big for me. This one's got some gold stars, so we'll put gold stars on holidays. There. There's for Valentine's Day. I would put a heart there, but I don't have a heart. <laughs> okay, that was bad. That sounded really, really bad. I do have a heart, but Palm Sunday, Easter Sunday. So what's a good Easter? Okay, we'll do some stickers. Easter Sunday. There. There's lilies. April, May. Not much in, well, there's Mother's Day in May. So. Mother's Day. Um, let's see. April, May, June. Which is, hmm. I don't know. July, if you've got, you know, some uh, fireworks stickers or, or stamps or something along those lines. So let's go with the stamps. there for just a minute and get my my itty bitty stamp block or not I've got a mess here there we go No, I could use stays on if I wanted, but the paper's fairly thin. Let's see, April showers bring May flowers, so let's put some flowers in May. Uh, where'd it go? Ah, there we go. <clears throat> let's see, which one do we want? This is a pretty one. You know, and then in February or March, March it is, you can do, you know, a four-leaf clover for St. Patty's Day or something along those lines. Now, right now, I'm just using chalk ink. I like how it, how it comes out. It's kind of creamy. Let's see, May. Go right there. See, it's not even very, very strong. And you can do this with any kind of stamp. You can even do it with markers. You can do it, you know, however you want. That one didn't even pop up. So let's do one for June. Now chalk ink dries fast, so yeah. Okay, I had one more. I had a, there it is. I had a pink and a purple. So let's go pink and just purple. Okay, so July. Uh, where's my paper towel? I was not prepared. I apologize for that. But that'll come off. 
that'll come off. Um, August, September, that's my favorite time. Of, that's my favorite time of the year, September and October, because of the fall. Ooh, and my birthday's on a Saturday this year. How awesome. Oh, good grief. Okay, so I'm going to... There. That's kind of pretty. My phone is buzzing, but it's a recorded call from my church, so... And using chalk ink is a light enough ink that can be used as a background as well. So you can write right over that. That's not a problem. Christmas. I didn't get out any Christmas stamps. No biggie. But that is just an idea. So let me put these back. Another thought you can use or do. Okay, I didn't use that one. I'll wash those in a minute. And I will set these aside. Okay. Like right here, pansy. This is a pretty one. These are just stickers. Just something to dash it up, you know? And then say you want something to keep your place. You could do that. Now, there's a way to do this, but I don't have a long enough needle. <laughs> see if I can push it down in there. I doubt it, but we'll see. I do... Oh, that's sticky. Good grief. Okay, let's use one that's not sticky. Now you could do it this way, push it all the way down, make it come out the other side. Okay, I'm not very good at this, obviously. There we go. Push it all the way through like that. And you can glue it right in there. And I don't know where my glue gun went. <clears throat> okay. Oi! Good night! I'm just really not with it today. Whoops. Alright. So I will squirt a little bit of hot glue in there pull this down into it so it's not hanging out of the bottom but it's glued in and then I'll put a little bit more on this side and then you've got a bookmark you know that say you stopped in July and you wanted to be able to just open it right to that page again there you go I 
and you can even put a little charm on the end or a tag or you know anything you wanted but that was my idea and you can go around and you can you know ink all the pages if you want I think it's too much but you know some people like that and have the time and the patience to do that me I don't necessarily so but yeah so just then this piece of pardon me this piece of eyelash trim was just something left over from when I was doing uh, sewing in a signature on a journal so I'm still using scraps I'm using stickers um, let me see there were some other nice little sayings on here I wanted to okay celebrate the happiness that friends are always giving and make every day a holiday and celebrate just living I like that one so we'll use that one hmm I'll put it on the back page And it's a little bit too wide. I should have measured that first. But that's okay. I didn't wipe, press it all the way down. And I've got a little bit of room to, to trim. And there we go. So all it is is just personalizing something according to the person you want to give it to. Mine is kind of generic right now, but it was because I don't have anybody in mind offhand to give it to. So when, oh, there's my glue gun. Oh, that's a hard piece. It didn't, all right. Let's close. Nope, I need to open it. Alrighty. I'm going to put that down and I will pull this out just a little bit. There. And I can trim off that extra. Here, I could do the same thing. Squirt a little glue in there. There we go. I'm going to cut this excess off use that for something else and there we go you've got your own little personalized uh, calendar gift keep it for yourself if you want that's cool too okay and that was pretty much all I wanted to show you today I know it's a short video but sometimes the short ones can be just as fun as the long ones. And it's another way to show you that it really doesn't take all that long to craft up something really pretty. Another thing you could do to make this match even more. Nope, I don't like that. I do like that. Kind of give it a little bit more pizzazz. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to just put this right in here. Because I kind of like the extra on the outside. And since I have it to use, might as well. And it matches the book, the bookmark part inside.
Alrighty. Something simple, something quick. This whole project, minus what I did here, that probably only took me another 10 or 15 minutes. You know, putting the pocket, this, and the back page on. But yeah, all of this video right now is only 20, 20 minutes, give or take us. You know, ah, give or take some time. But it's only about 20 minutes, and you've got a cute little personalized handmade gift that you can give away. Um, there's different styles. You know, somebody might not be into pink. I'm not a big pink person. There's this one. It's got the zigzags on it, so you can get more bold and creative. Um, there's this one, which I know my daughter would like. I think she really likes the black and the white. And like I said, on that note, that's all you need to do. You can make it as elaborate or as minimal or my favorite word is oversimplified elegance, right? So, but okay, I'm going to let you guys go. And I hope everybody has a great day. If you like my video, give me a thumbs up. It helps. And share. Yes, share the love. Share, share, share. Get your friends to subscribe if you like me. They might like me. They might not like me. Even if they never watch me, it wouldn't hurt for me to subscribe anyway. But no, um, useless subscribers just make no sense to me. Uh, but yeah, if you like it, share it. Pass me along. Pay it forward. You sub me, I'll sub you, that type of thing. And have a great day.